busy there. What are you reading? I'm Carolyn Knight and I'm the library based teacher at Amesbury School, which is a new year one to six school that's just opened in 2012. I think of myself as a teacher first and in the past I've been a teacher with library responsibility and I've always loved teaching literacy. I'm an avid reader myself, I love sharing that with children and engendering a love of literature and reading with them. At Amesbury School we think of the library as the heart of the school and that's both in a physical sense I guess and in a learning sense. It's just physically the middle plus it's just got such a wonderful kind of vibe in our library. Lots of things are run in our library. There's constantly children coming in and out of our library. It's, it's the middle of everything and it, it, it literally physically is the heart um, and soul of our school and it's just, it's wonderful. Yep, whenever I'm on release, I um, hang out um, in the um, bean bags over there and just sit there with my headphones on and my laptop and I work away there. And it's really good because if kids are coming in, I can have chats with them. And um, being here is, again, because it's so central, is everyone knows where I am. So yeah, it is, it really is the heart of the school. The children don't only do reading in this library, they do all types of learning, whether it's using an iPad to do some filming and then produce something on Puppet Pals, or it's using the green screen to produce a film to promote something that they've been studying or investigating. The good thing about the variety of devices is that the children learn to choose the device that suits the purpose. E-learning and information literacy and library stuff is all integrated throughout everything we do. So we don't have library time and we don't have a computer suite where we suddenly say to the kids, it's time to go to the library because any time can be the time to go to the library. Well, the library's open before school from half past eight until half past three. And they can come into this big school living room, if you like, with bookshelves and comfortable seats to sit on and just enjoy some space. For issues and returns, any of those transactions, the computer is just on a small desk with the RFID pad next to it. The children all self-issue and return, and that's really all that's necessary is a small desk with a computer on it essentially. They come over, they self-issue, they get their own books, they put their own books away and it just means that we don't have to put time limits on what they're doing, we don't have to control what they're doing, they can just be relaxed and enjoy the library for what it is. It gives them ownership of what they're doing and not just of the library but of the school and whole and ownership of their learning. I act as a teacher not only in the library but I'll take groups of students for writing or reading or inquiry in any parts of the school. We use Carolyn, our library based teacher, to support our inquiry learning and to support our literacy learning. So she brings in extra expertise. Sometimes that's in the hub, sometimes that's in the library here, it just depends on the situation. So it's a flexible, fluid part of our school. This is the third space where everybody meets together, the adults and the children. It could be just for relaxing, it could be for learning. It's learning for life, it's learning about the role of libraries in the future for them as well, not just at school.